Hi guys, I'm Rich. Let's go through my top five things to watch for the week ahead in markets. Number one, bear market rally. The S&P 500, considered by most to be the benchmark for US stock markets, entered a bear market last week. The question for traders is whether a correction of 20% from the all-time high will be enough to entice buyers back in. Contrarians are looking at the weak sentiment as a reason to buy. Some of the reactions to earnings, for example, the over 40% drop in the snap share price have been extreme. But the fundamental outlook for the US economy has soured significantly with many now expecting a technical recession. Number two, non-farm payrolls. It's the first week of June and as such, the US jobs report is on Friday. The US dollar has sold off over the last week in what so far is just a retracement in a major uptrend. Still, worries about the US economy are rising. With the Fed now raising the cost of borrowing and Americans paying a lot more for fuel and everything else, economists are beginning to look for signals of weakness in the labor market. With an unemployment rate of 3.6% and 400 128,000 jobs created in April, it doesn't appear to be the case just yet. Number three, Bank of Canada rate decision. Another big rate rise is expected in Canada this week to combat runaway inflation in Canada. The hawkishness from the BOC coupled with rising oil prices has underpinned the loonie, which despite hitting a one-year low, has held its own against the greenback, while other major currencies have been tumbling. More rate rises are expected after the meeting this week, but it might not be straightforward. For what it's worth, the former Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Poltz is predicting stagflation. Number four, Memorial Day. It's worth noting it could be a quiet start to the week with Americans away on holiday and Wall Street closed on Monday. Later in the week, China also celebrates with the Dragon Boat Festival holiday on Friday. Number five, economic data. On Monday, German CPI is expected to hit new highs for May. Japan releases a series of data points, including unemployment early Tuesday, which is followed by China PMIs and Eurozone inflation later. Australia GDP and US ISM manufacturing data are out on Wednesday. Thursday sees US ADP employment data released, Friday wraps up with PMI data from Europe and non-farm payrolls. Of course, you can click the link in the description below to see the full economic calendar with the previous month's data and the consensus expectation for this time. But for now, thanks everybody, good luck trading this week, and remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss more content like this when it's released.